breaking right now. A massive manhunt is underway in Atlanta as police search for a gunman who opened fire inside a medical building. One person was killed, four others hurt. Police asked people in the area to shelter in place as teams of officers swarm the streets in search of the suspect. It is Wednesday afternoon. I'm Sarah Bloomquist. And I'm Brian Taft. The big story on Action News today is that breaking situation unfolding as we speak on the streets of Atlanta. Authorities have now identified the suspect. They say he is armed and dangerous. Christy Aletto has been following this story all afternoon. She joins us now live from the Satellite Center with the very latest. Christy, some new information coming in. Yeah, we just got some information from the Atlanta Police Department. They said that the woman who was killed was a 39 year old. The others who were injured are also all women. Now, police have identified that suspect as 24 year old Dion Patterson. He was apparently going to an appointment at a medical complex when he apparently got agitated and opened fire. We believe he carjacked a vehicle a short distance away and was able to flee the scene as the law enforcement agencies were just descending on this area. And we believe he has left the area. Uh, he may not still be in that vehicle. Atlanta police now blasting these four surveillance photos of the alleged shooter. Reportedly, Patterson's mother was concerned about his mental health, so she took him to the Northside Family Medicine and Urgent Care, which for people who don't know, is on a very busy area in Midtown Atlanta on Peachtree Street. He reportedly has a military background and at the moment is considered armed and dangerous. Those in the area at the time of this described the panic. All of a sudden, they was pushing us out of the building, pushing us into the further back into the streets, telling us to get away from this, um, the building where the active shooter were at. I think everybody was just really in shock. Um, I think everyone's just trying to process what's going on. The Grady Health System, which is right down the street from that shooting, initiating their mass casualty call shortly after the incident. As of late this afternoon, Four adults have been taken to the hospital. Three are critical, two are in the operating room. Again, all of them are women, ages ranging 25 to 71 years old. Within minutes, we had multiple trauma surgeons, multiple staff in the trauma bay itself. We cleared out any patients who were currently in the Marcus Trauma Center, and we were fully prepared. We were anticipating up to 12 patients. Fortunately, it was not that number. They only had four taken there, but again, one person is dead, a very fluid situation. The White House is also aware of what is happening, and that suspect remains at large at this hour. Brian and Sarah.